I'm going to show you how you can use ChatGPT, which is a free AI tool, to speed up your KDP low content process and save you hours and hours of thinking and brainstorming. So ChatGPT currently at least is free tool. You can go to chat.openai.com and sign up for free. So let's say that you have seven, eight books all in kids coloring book niche, which is a great niche, really profitable niche. So we can go to ChatGPT and ask him, can you give me a brand name for my kids coloring book brand for two to four years old kids? And many people and many authors spend a lot of time brainstorming for a good name that is appealing for that targeted audience. So in a couple of seconds, in a fraction of a second, ChatGPT gave me this beautiful name, Colorful Critters, which is a great name. However, let's say that I didn't like it. I want more a variety of suggestions. So I asked him, can you give me 10 more suggestions? And immediately, ChatGPT, the smart guy, gave me 10 different beautiful, awesome, great brand names for my specific targeted audience which is two to four years old kids and the suggestions were, were great to be honest so rainbow riders kids canvas cryon kingdom tiny tots and so on so many and i can ask him to give me 10 more and 20 more and so on if i didn't like any of these so to be honest this name mini monets catch my eyes and it was great to me so I like it. So I asked him, can you make a tagline for number nine, which is this one, mini monets. So immediately he suggests, unleash your child's inner artist with mini monets. Awesome, very good tagline. However, let's say that I didn't like it. I want another one, more options. No problem, ChatGPT is here. So I asked him for more suggestion and gave me five very good awesome great suggestions so this one for example discover your child's artistic talent with many monets so note that all these suggestions are included with the name of the brand which is mini monets mini monets all all again so it's a very clever tool and for example this one bring your child's imagination to life with mini monets and all of these are really good. For example, this one, mini months, the perfect coloring campaign for little hands. So all of these are great. Not only good, no, they are great. Maybe even if I tried myself to create a name, all of these are better than mine. So I like this one, which is really good. So now we have brand name, we have a tagline. So what can we have more? Can you also make a description about mini monets? So for example, this is a really profitable and good seller. And I have talked about this publisher previous in my videos, which is Coloring Book Kim. So this guy has an, a bio and this bio is really great. And it's not the main reason why this author is getting a lot of sales. However, it does help. So. I asked ChatGPT to give me a description about Mini Monets. So Mini Monets is a brand of coloring books for children between the ages of two and four. The books feature adorable illustrations of animals, characters, and scenes that will capture your child's imagination. So look how this description is really great according to my input because i i've just told the chat gpt that it's for two to four years old kids and it's coloring books so i can give him more specific description to describe it and make it better and better so this is a really good description that you can use by yourself so now after we have brand name we have tagline we have description now let's move deeper and deeper so I asked the chat GPT, can you give me some keywords that people might search for to find my books? So how can people find my books? What could they search to find my books? So the chat GPT gave me many keywords, great keywords. So look for this. So for example, this is a great one, which is directly 
the niche that I'm targeting. And here, for example, children's coloring book, kids coloring book, toddler coloring book, preschool coloring books, art for kids. So all of these keywords I can use in the seven boxes keywords. So childhood, for example, animal coloring books, for example, if my niche was for animal coloring books, educational coloring book, and so on. So all of these keywords that I can use in my all books in this niche. So this is great. I can dig in in a sub niche and ask ChatGPT to give me more specific keywords. For example, let's say that I want uh, sea creatures, a coloring book for kids. I created something similar to this book here for sea animals. And I can ask the ChatGPT to give me those keywords related to this particular book. So this is really great. It's really useful. So take advantage of it. However, we have two things left. The first thing is please smash that like button right now, please. Because if you like it, I'm gonna do more videos like this one. And watch this video right here because I talked there about different ways to use ChatGPT in your KDB process. So go watch it right now, link in the description.